Welcome to Bennett Park for round four of this Fortescue Premier Grade clash between Associates and West Subiaco. My name is Mick Collis and joining me in commentary it is the great man himself, Michael Brain. Brainy, lovely to see you on the touchline. It's a nice warm day, important game for both these teams. Both have won two, lost one. Yes. What way do you see it going? Besides taking off your taking green off and my yellow socks, hat. My <laughs> socks hat. I, I, I think uh, it'll be very close. Uh, and I hope it's a really hard-fought, um, heavily defensive game. And it could really go either way, Mick. I mean, it's too early in the season, I would have thought, to, um, to, to pick a side who's going to um, who's going to be dominant tonight, today. But I'm looking forward to a great game. Yeah, and certainly terrific conditions for it. It has been very warm throughout the afternoon. It, it's probably cooled down a little bit from that from that reserve grade game that uh, West ended up winning by 34 points to five, I think it ended up, or 34 to 12, West scoring in the last couple of minutes. But, um, and Brandon, the Soaks, the Soaks line up, who do you like out of these? Um... I like them all, Mick. <laughs> I like them all. I, um, uh, obviously, um, Taylor Menzies is um, an outstanding player, uh, very hard defender, quite quick over 10 metres, so good in attack as well. Um, and from the backs, Ross powerman has been around the club for a long time and been a good servant to the club, so he's pretty solid too. And for West, uh, a famous name in the number one jersey, Nick McLennan. Yeah, yeah, I played against uh, uh, Jock McClellan for one of my first games uh, down at uh, Shenton Park, and he absolutely cleaned my cage out. Uh, I'm sure he took great pleasure in it. Um, but yeah, Jock's a good man and, a, and uh, obviously a good family um, that support West and have been for a long time. Yeah, so underway here at Bennett Park, West with the kickoff, but the first mistake and its associates with the first penalty of your match and the ball has been nudged into touch. We're interested to see here Mick what um, what sort of line out options they're looking at both sides today. So Webster it was for Associates. Danny Griffiths with the line out throw it's been well won up the back and straight away Soaks using their back line. Great tackle. Nice straight running Early on by Associates. Doherty in at halfback. And that's Griffiths linking up with his backs. So some nice ball control early on by Associates as they make their way inside the 22 metre line. So Soaks, a, a great start for them. Great ball control, using it well. That is Taylor Menzies. He's already got a plug of it, Michael ball. Brain. He's got to control it here, Mick, and not to get too, um, too overexcited, you know. Keep the ball. Soak up that pressure and wait for it to come. So some good solid defence there. Yeah, this is good. By West, really defending their line. Ball comes out, play on, says the referee. May have been turned over. Looks like a turnover, Mick. Well done, West. Great defence. So now West from inside their own 22, using the ball as well. They've got some speed outside. And size. So Tackle! Desperately trying to get him into touch. Still with West's. Through Angus Taylor at halfback. Kotecker in the number 10 jersey. A late inclusion. Goes to the boot. So it's been a pretty frantic start. And Associates bringing play back up inside West Territory, just inside the 10 metre line. Off feet now! No. Griffiths again at first receiver. He's got some good skills, the hooker. He has. Likes to get himself involved. Now Soaks coming. They've got some numbers on this short side. Nice ball from Ingram. Picked up there by North Draver. Cross. North cross. Good support play there by Soaks going forward. So still Soaks pressing towards the west line. The defence has been solid. Again, it's been left behind there by Valentine. He's got the same hands as his father. <laughs> the right, the right. Slightly better kicker. <laughs> hold ya, hold ya. Wait, stop, stop. That's seven. not out, Mick. Co okay. So this is Norcross. Yep. Underneath it. Palfreman taking it to the line. Up to the 22. Good clear out. You've got to survive. Now halfback one comes in finally. It's a tall one. Ball's been stripped, still, still with Associates. Stripped from Valentine again, was it there, Mick? Hardwick with it. 
come on the short side. This is Webster, turns it back inside to Dadamo. Soaks just pushing towards that line. They've had good ball security, books, good ball control. Referee says held up. But Brainy pretty happy with the um, with the number of phases that they've been able to string together. Absolutely, Mick. That's a crucial part of the game and something that um, I think is um, probably lacking a little bit in Australian rugby in general is the ability to keep hold of the ball for 15 or 16 phases. And, and when you get straight runners and, and your forward pack's going forward, it, it makes the defensive line re have to realign all the time and it can give you opportunities. And if you keep the ball, those opportunities will come out wide, I think. Yeah, so nice composure, no panic from Soaks and equally the de the defence of, uh, of West. No yeah. panic in that either. Just no, stayed no. strong, backed each other. Absolutely, and a couple of turnovers to West as well, so it's, uh, that's important when you're, uh, when you're defending as well. So don't get the scrum feed. Set. Hold it! Hold Big scrum from West. Yeah, super tight head. That's a, that's a tight head. That's By the home side, you don't see many of them. Picked up scrum, off the back by McCaskill. Good clean out. Ty McLennan just the pick and drive soaking in a couple of plays. Followed by Matt Theobald. Hold. Use it. McLennan picks and goes again. Works his way to the ground. Make sure we're bound. Just crawling their way towards the 22. Yeah, I, I, like, I like that, Mick. You know, three or four little tiny phases there. Got them an extra two or three metres. That one's not out, mate. Norcross picks it up. Midfield ball. They come back to the short side. Taylor Menzies off to Killiner. Forward pass there. And the first scrum of this match. Always a good... Oh, it's not the first scrum. No. We've just seen a tight head. Seen a tight head, bud. But yeah, second scrum. Just as exciting as the first. All scrums are exciting, <laughs> aren't they, Mick? Isn't that what you live for? Oh, that's exactly when you were, right. When you were having a run around? Yeah, on a hot day like this with oh, other sweaty men. Really great. Sokes need to set really hard here and put a bit of Crouch. pressure on. Fine. Angus Taylor feeding four west. Referee not happy with it. But two big packs, Brainy. Yeah, they're decent size. Interesting to see how they go. We don't have their weights on our on our team sheets, Mick. No. <laughs> no. I think the uh, West Pack probably looks about probably 20 to 25 kilos heavier across the Crouch. group. I think they're a bit heavier in the back row. Fine. Which I see as an advantage for Sox. Great scrum by West. Okay, take a short pass. Lovely ball to Louis David. David still going through the loose one. That's picked up. Intercept. Robbie Ingram. Well done, Robbie. Good release. Good drive. Looks like Louis David may have done himself a, a hammy. Ooh. He's down on the 22 metre line, so that'll be a big loss for West if he is taken out of this game. So to push forward over the halfway line now. Hands away. Fifth phase here. Doherty. Valentine. On to Valentine, the big bounce off. Doherty again. Nice pass from there, Webster. Back line again, Soaks. Trying to break that defence. Got to get no. that support there. They come again. This time through Beecham. Taking play up towards the 10 metre line. Good control again from Associates. Good straight running. They could have been slightly forward, but we'll call it line ball. Referee says play on. Doherty has it. Don't mind the variation there, Mick, with the inside ball. Dadamo takes it up. Need a good clean out here. Bit of a reset stage here. Valentine not really expecting that one. Oh, big turnover. Big fend there from Kalani Menai. They come the short side. Just dancing down the touchline is Isaac Mio. Taylor throws it to no one. Picked up yeah, offside by Matt O'Brien. I think from Sykes. Yep, yep, yep. Playing advantage. Kotecker. Long ball out. Press using their backs for the oh, first time. Speed. They've got some speed. 
We're still west going. He's going to go all the way. No, yes, he will. He's got a man inside, but he won't need him. All the way. And that's a tremendous try. I think that was Darren O'Donovan. That may have been. It Just certainly was. What was that, Mick? 50 metres. Something out of nothing. A couple of very nice fins there. Bit of lax defence. Just against the run of play, I don't think he was expecting to to just keep going, but uh, the defence kept falling off him. So the first try of the match here this afternoon is a belter to Darren O'Donovan and West's all of a sudden five points to nil after Sykes really spending the majority of the half camped in their half. That's their first venture down that end and uh, five points on the board. It's frustrating when you're a, when you're a rugby player and you, and you have that much possession uh, and you turn it over. You, you know, have your forward attack putting a lot of pressure on the them and then you make a simple mistake um, and it can be very very costly because if you're attacking they've got players out wide as we saw there and uh, was it Menai that scored that try was it? We think it was O'Donovan. Oh was it? Well, I oh, think. It was a brilliant try. Super quick. Yeah they've got some pace it's the first time we've actually seen it. Yeah. And we had uh, I think we had the full back up as well in Winnie Charrington with the with the blue headgear he, he chimed in. Chimed in beautifully yeah. Just out of that extra number. 5-8, nice flat ball there. Really caught the Soaks defence the out of alignment. So Louis David is back. He's, he's limping, but he's he's still out there. So I'm not sure how much use he's going to be, but he's... Um, I'm sure he'll be OK, Mick. He's a great player. Very good player. <laughs> so Soaks with the restart. Make sure they're behind you, please, Harry. Harry Webster, it is. Yep. Off the foot! Off the foot was the call by the referee. That'll dribble into touch, so not a bad result for Sykes. Keep an eye on that ball, hey, Jay? They got a line out just outside the 22 metre line. On the four man option here. Back 10. Back 10, back 10. Valentine in the jersey four, goes high, takes it cleanly. Webster. A little bit confused there, not sure whether they're coming in or out. But Palfreman takes it forward. Hit Beecham. up on Beecham. Slapping. Yeah, just sucking that other hand. ball down. Yep. You know what, Mick, I don't mind that if you give away a penalty like that. I thought uh, Sykes had um, a pretty not decent blind side there and uh, the pressure from West in defence from the forward pack was, um, was warranted, I think. Yep. Sometimes, you've got to give, down. sometimes you've got to give them away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so not too bad from the number six, Isaac Mayo. So Webster looking to get Sykes on the board. He's about 26 metres away, not far off tut, off centre. Yeah. Denny Bennett, rest in peace, would be loving this. Take the points. Yes. Old Soak Storwood always wanted us to uh, kick penalties when we had them. I hated doing it. <laughs> I think we're going to see a bit of a ding-dong battle here, Mick. And, you know, yeah, it looks pretty even, doesn't it? 5-3, and, and, and they're both really enthusiastic yeah. at the breakdown. It's, yep. it's really and good rugby. And both teams prepared to throw it around, which is terrific. Absolutely. And, in fact, Harry Webster making no mistake. So, yep. Sakes on the board. 5-3 is the score. Yep, off the top. Yep, sure. Early stages of this first half. And West, I'm sure, will be kicking to this eastern side of this ground straight into a, a setting sun. So it's, uh, I'll be trying to put as much height on this ball as I can if I was Winter Koteka. In fact, he does exactly that. It's a great kick. And well taken there by Valentine. Oh, well done, Valentine. Picked up again. Got an extra three or four metres. Taylor Menzies hits it up. And a good clean out here by Sykes. Well done. West defence spreading. Webster drops it on the boot. And Winnie Charrington underneath it. He's got some jet shoes on him. They won't let him run. Ball's come Ryan, loose. Backwards. Nice tackle backwards. there by Tavita Siffer. Ball coming backwards. Ooh. It's a bit scrappy there. Bit of free ball. 
I'm not sure. Stacks on the mill. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Good pressure by Sakes. Another penalty. In fact, Dan McTalamenti's points to the guys. post. Come through the gate. Why not? Hmm. Sakes can get himself again, in front. About 38 away. It's certainly within range, Mick. Yeah, I think it's going to be tight. I think all points will be uh, valuable this afternoon. There'll be no easy one, so... I prefer seven than three. Yeah, yep. <laughs> it's interesting how, the, obviously, the game's changed so much in the last, you know, 20 to 30 years. Um, I really like if you had a dominant side or you wanted to test the opposition out to from this position... Kick it deep into the corner, back your line out in, and um, you yeah. know, really get involved in a forward tussle. Go to seven, yeah. Sometimes it worked, and sometimes yep. it looked like an idiot. So. Yeah. <laughs> Straight through. Yeah, makes no mistake. So Sokes hit the lead here at Bennett Park. Six points to three. Two penalty goals in fairly yeah, quick succession. And you'll find that Harry six Webster. points to five, Mick. Six points to five. <laughs> Someone's on six. Yep. And it's, <laughs> it's the visitors. The moment. Mick, I think I've got the uh, wrong attire on today. Um, yeah, but I was going to say, she's a bit warm. I've got a black shirt on yeah. <laughs> and bloody jeans and boots on, and you've got your boardies and a t shirt on. Yeah, we'll have to get the air conditioning in the corporate box turned up a little bit yeah. for you, Brainy. Oh, exclusive arrangement here today. <laughs> uh, supreme comfort. So Valentine having a, a good game this afternoon, the young second rower. He's an interesting guy, Val. He's um, always had a lot of talent and uh, been at the club obviously for a very long time through our Colts. Um, but last year and the year before really stood up as a, as a hard hitting forward and really applied himself and become a really great leader of the pack um, and has improved out of sight. He, uh, he's outstanding. Here he goes again. He's got a great work rate, looks for the ball, which is a uh, tremendous for a forward, and here goes Soaks, almost up to the halfway line. Just grinding short runners, coming straight, getting West back pedaling, trying to get himself some room. Webster drops it back inside to Ingram up from fullback. Soaks just trying to find some gaps. Valentine again, the work rate of young man, outstanding this Not afternoon. Support. Webster. Hold on, he, he keeps, carries the ball in two hands, makes the defence guess. And not scared to, to hit the line himself. Go. Little rubber kick through by Norcross. It looks like that's gone out. Probably about 30 out from the West defensive line. Good phase of play there, Mick. Um, yeah. quite, you know, quite structured. Yeah, they play with it. They play with nice pace and nice intensity, Sokes. It's, uh, they don't just, just keep hitting it up. They do spread it wide. They turn it inside and out. They keep Goal. the defence guessing. It's a, And they keep the ball in hand, which is terrific. You're always a chance if you've got the ball. Well, that's it. So a west and line out. And obviously try and minimise, uh, you know, silly errors. Hand. So for Liddy K2, with the hey. line out, well won there by Matt O'Brien. Good stall for Wests for a long time. Tackle! 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 <laughs> Tackle. That's it, Lana. Good carry, Bola. So tackled. Yeah, yeah man, I hit that up there and uh, was trying to get to ground. Um, then tackled and the Soaks uh, forward pack um, sort of leached onto him and, and would have let him get to ground. So that's now a penalty. Co Tecker. Seems to touch. The good line out win, scrappy, but oh, solid oh, nice hit there. Hit by Taylor Menzies. You're on Taylor. Kotecker. Saw the space out play, wide, clever play, play. chip over the top. Bingham picks it up on the bounce, chips oh, over the top oh, himself oh, into oh, some space, coming, but oh. Carrington back for it, okay, picks now. it up, the fullback in the headgear. Sniffs out some space, they've got some numbers on this short side, they're going to oh. use them. That's through. K2 turns it back inside, picked up though by Soaks through Michael Killiner. Tackle now! And the only man hotter than you, Brainy, is the man in the bull outfit <laughs> here at Bennett Park this oh. afternoon. It's like a big onesie. 
Knock on. <laughs> he's certainly um, he's feeling the feeling the pinch. You can see that that high five that he just gave one of the young yeah. ball boys wasn't with a lot of effort. No. <laughs> And we like to say that was a fog rolling across the ground this afternoon, but I think it's barbecue smoke. Fantastic. Come off, guys. And there's up. the there's the boar, the great yeah, man, the mascot. Great man. There he is. Of West Sear, doing his best for his club. Yes. Full commitment. Very sun smart outfit anyway. Absolutely. Okay. Great, great to see the barbecue done. smoke coming across <laughs> the ground, Mick. Um, community rugby and club rugby. Ah, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. It really is. Good day down here at West. If anyone's listening who wants to get down here, okay. yeah, come down for a nice cold beer. Yeah, come and have a beer and a hot dog and, and enjoy watch the rugby. Yeah, and watch what's bringing a good contest. 6 5 is the score. It's, it, it's, it'd be interesting on your thoughts, Mick, about I mean, when you watch the Super 15 type of rugby where it's extremely structured and they don't seem to have the ability to play what, what's in front of them. Whereas your park rugby, where, whether it's New South Wales, Queensland or WA, there seems to be that little bit more extra um, opportunity to show a bit of flair. Yep. Um, and we've seen that today from both sides, particularly West in broken play. And I, I, I reckon it's great. It sort of brings you back to the days of the sort of late 90s where running rugby was, was, actually, was actually that. Yeah, it was. It was really was. good running rugby. No, and you're right. I think the, the, the crowds right across the country reflect the fact that people have had a gut full of that that overstructured play and they basically like watching people just play rugby and at the club level that's what that's what goes on it's um it is really good rugby to watch yeah i think Crouch. it's a little bit due to some of the rule changes that have, that have happened over the last 10 years but yeah I, absolutely we saw a huge increase in uh, new south wales club rugby attendances last year and the year before that's winnie charrington Puts the foot down, well tackled there Tackle! by Doherty. Tackle! And a good clean out there by McCaskill Fine. for West. Off in now, T! Very hard done by there, Menzies, Taylor. Taylor Menzies, I mean. But nonetheless, good clean out by West. Yeah, two really good number eights on show today. I mean, Dean Taylor Menzies for Soaks and, and Brady McCaskill for West. Just two class players. And plenty of really good matchups, but that's um, that's certainly one of them. Absolutely, yeah. McCaskill, uh, watching the uh, last qualifying game of last year down here, absolutely tore us to bits uh, through the centre of the rucks. Was was absolutely brilliant. Strong runner, quite quite thick set, and and pretty good hands. So the line out, a little bit too far, picked up Hardwick. by Hardwick. Out, no. He looks a hell of a lot like. Dicky, yes. His brother yeah, Richard. Yeah, right. they're very similar. Playing formerly for the Western space. Force. Number now seven, with the Rebels. Wallaby player. Number ten and you are on the wrong side. Number yeah, ten's at the back here. He's in the way. Yeah, Mick Hardwick is a uncompromising and very hard straight running back rower for Sakes and um, was integral in the last couple of years' performances. Manager. And obviously his brother's got the got the goods too. Yeah. Just had a better choice in clubs, some may say. Yeah. Depends how many premierships you're <laughs> in, I guess. <but>. <laughs> <laughs> so Webster with a nice little nudge taking play just outside the ten metre line. West side of halfway. Yeah, West would be a bit disappointed with having that penalty and having, you know, got into the Soaks defensive twenty two there with a the line out and turn that ball over from uh, the ball going over the back of the line out. A nice win there by Valentine. Webster with it. He's got runners inside and out as he always does. It's a Alfred, um, nice little step, step, little side step, step out of trouble. He was certainly getting cleaned up yeah. by the number 11. Goes Valentine oh, again. On. Really good line defence there by West. They're coming up really quick. So he's got caught behind the advantage line there. That was Kalali Menai too coming in to help out with the defence, which is terrific to see the wingers getting involved. As Taylor Menzies out. rumbles his way up. Doherty looks for the runner, finds one in Webster, turns it back inside to Ingram. Good options. Met heavily midfield there by Faletti K2. There's a decent hit. Doherty comes a short side again. Beecham. Thrown to ground, that hurt him. You could hear the air come out of Beecham when he hit the deck. Yeah, the 
Beecham's body height wasn't low enough there, there Mick. He really let the other guy get, you know, get right under him. Yeah. Would have taken the wind out of your sails, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, certainly would. Head like you used to do to me at training. <laughs> <laughs> Injury. So with a little injury, Sykes players covering themselves in water. A nice little show of sportsmanship there from Killiner, giving the touchy a drink. So about 15 or so minutes remaining. Yep. In yep, this first turn, there was a few ones there to a few guys. A couple of stoppages. <laughs> and the wild boar mixing up with the kitties down here, which is terrific to see. <laughs> Run DMC t shirt. <laughs> Loving it. So Angus Taylor with a scrum feed. Crouch! Fine! Set! Another good clean strike by K2. Wouldn't mind seeing McCaskill have a run here, mate. It's at the Just back. Straight at the, straight at the five eight. No, Taylor right. picks it up. Koteka, dummies, goes. On the short side again, waiting for the forwards to get themselves off their feet. Hold there, six. Nice run there by Mio. Good. Taylor. It's McCaskill showing all his skills. Loose pass there, though, by Liam Clues, and the no referee damage. comes back for the penalty. Number one collapse. Collapse in the scrum there. See if uh, West can make better use of this penalty into uh, okay. into their attacking zone with a nice line out. Yeah, they haven't, they haven't spent a lot of time down there. No, they haven't. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So Kaitu with the throw. The last one sailed over the back of the line out. Jeff Stuke wouldn't have fire any of it. He's in back. The That's retired a, Jeff Stuke. Oh, by good. clues without even jumping. So that West really need to get their line out in order. It's an attacking weapon when used properly, but at the moment it's a bit of a lottery for them. Nice run there. Oh. By West taking play up towards the 22 metre line. McLennan. This is better from West. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, a knock on from McLennan. I think it wasn't coming out this way. There was six, two, three, and five all in their back line for West, so they're um, yeah. not sure what they're going to try and do. But unfortunately, yeah, for McLennan, just turning that one over. I'd like to see them tighten up a bit and have a bit more patience Nick, with the West uh, forward pack. They've certainly got the skills, they've certainly got the size to um, control uh, the play. Um, and I think, you know, if they look back on this first half, they've probably, when they've got the ball in opportune positions, they've probably spun it a bit too early. One and it gives the Sykes defence a lot one more time to actually cover their defensive or their attacking raids off. Crouch! Still one metre. Fine! So Sykes, scrum. Set! Oh, great head neck! They need to get themselves out of trouble. They're in their 22 metre line. It's been picked up off the back by Taylor Menzies. Straightening play up. Giving themselves a bit more room. A nice run. Here. Another good run. Valentine. Dowdy. Oh, Looks for Webster. McCaskill He's almost on. charging the kick down. So West's now. On the attack through Darren O'Donovan. We know he's got some speed. He scored one earlier. Here he goes again. O'Donovan. Made, made good yards again. Down that right hand side. They can't let him get any space Play, at all. No hands! Ball been turned over. So Soak's back in possession. Disappointing there for, for West. No, don't. No. Stay on. Stay on. Use. Ball slow to come out. Sloppy ball back for Ingram to try and pick it up. Leaves it though. 
Cal Freeman takes it in himself, go to the ground. No, in a good clean out here, Associates. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. So I think a little bit lucky there for Soak. So I was scrambling a bit. Just gone past the ball. Yeah, he was sort of one out against three defenders and mm. was lucky to get to the ground and uh, get, the, yeah. the, get the clear out. So Certainly been under a bit of pressure here, Soaks, uh, okay. so they'll Keep appreciate the uh, the penalty. Yeah. Bit of relief, I think. Yeah, leading by one, 6-5. I haven't seen it. I'll keep an eye on with the ARs, though. Okay. On you. Keep an eye out for the clean-up. There's a man down there on the working far hard. side. I can't see quite who that is. It's Hopefully it's not O'Donovan for West. He's been Thanks brilliant. Sure, Harry. One more. One more. Yeah, I mean, you've got that sort of speed out wide, that's kind of where you want the ball to go. Is that yours, Mick, or not? No, no it's not. It's not. Gone over your head. I'd embarrass myself. I'd either drop it or get injured if I caught it. I might take your feet out. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit of fun. You know, on the sideline, the commentary team, why not? Get involved. Get amongst it. So, Griffiths. They go to the back. Play on. You got a well, well won there, almost, by Xander Beecham. But now back in the hands of West. So both teams' line-outs <laughs> stolen. But no advantage called. That's very poor from Sykes. It really is. I think when you take a ball like that, and uh, so convincingly uncontested, mm. Nick, um, why not drive it up a bit rather than having to you know, feel like you've got to rush to get it out? But that's rugby, I guess. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's kind of that... Um, Time off. Not everything needs to be done at 100 mile an hour. You can you can bring Absolutely. things in and, and sort of control and, and set the pace a little bit more. So we've got Fleddy K2 has just been replaced. He had a good 30 minutes. Was he injured, Mick? I no, I don't think so. I think no. it, didn't, it didn't seem to be. But I think with the front row, they're um, interchangeable. I think if, so if, if that other hook gets injured, he can come back on. So I think it's um, they kind of... Might make advantage of that, take advantage of that little loophole. So there can't be too long to go before the break. Nice little bit of interaction there between Mio and Nick Doughty. Crouch! A flanker for West. Fine! So nine minutes Go. remaining in this first term. 6-5 is the score. Again, an accurate reflection of the, the tightness of this game. McCaskill has that ball Use at the now. back. Stop. Taylor now takes it. Koteka. Into one of the replacements for Wests. And McCaskill. Good run, presents good clean ball. They go the short side through Mio. And West to Winnie. Right hands. And once again, just at the last minute, that ball going to deck. They certainly like going wide west today, don't they? They've yeah. really showed that they're, they're willing to attack the flanks of, um, of Soak's defence. And got some real danger men out there. It's really, it's a really exciting back line. Yeah. Great speed, and they've actually made a lot of yards today. Um, off. On that right flank. And another wrist, right? injury here. Shoulder. So a shoulder. Are these the popos that are trying to um, suck in the deep ones, mate? It's <laughs> been a bit hot down here. <laughs> shoulder, guys. I noticed, the, I noticed the play slowed down yeah. certainly in the last five or so minutes. Yes. There's been a few more errors. Uh, it's very hot down Not here. losing anything. <laughs> uh, and the pace of the first uh, 25 minutes yeah. was, um, it was, was, really was really good. good. It was really good. Both teams showing their intent. I think it might be Xander Beecham, the man down with the injured shoulder. He's okay. So time back on. Keep an eye on that type of thing. So a big scrum, big scrum by West, but picked up off the back by Taylor Menzies. And once again, just...
Just getting over that vantage line. Not on the ball. Creating a little bit of extra space. Ball comes out quickly. Doherty tries to sneak through the he was tackle of Mio. Sykes retain the ball, Up edging forward. Good. Counter's fine. Counter. Pretty sloppy ball. It may have been countered, not still with Sykes. Webster. Looking for touch, on, doesn't goal. find it. Now it is with Winnie Charrington. This is where West are dangerous. We like watching this guy with some space. That's Menai. Oh, knock on there. Finish. No. Leave it, leave it, Ace, leave it. So just a few leave it, leave it, leave it. interesting um, sort of mistakes. defensive ploy there from Sykes. They didn't um, run up too quickly. Let the, um, let the, there was, a, there was an, ex an overlap actually in the West back line. And they just sort of hung off him a bit and sort of shepherded him in. And, you know, forced West to make a, make a mistake. That'd be frustrating, the West captain, I'm sure. But, yeah. You know, I mean, they're, they're doing everything right, mm. except just the... Uh, well, there's been three or four tiny errors where they're attacking. Yeah, um, and, and they count. It's really hard to come back into this game, uh, well, in a territory sense. Um, and just, you know, haven't been able to finish. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be very, very frustrating. Fine. Just allowing Soaks to Hold it. just takes all the pressure off. Another good scrum though by West. It's been picked up once again though by Taylor Menzies. He's been fantastic off the back. Held up by his opposite number McCaskill. And he's straight over the ball. He's been thrown back. So still with Soaks. Valentine again. Finally thrown to ground. The counter rucking by West has been very good this afternoon. Really slowing that ball down. Soaks not able to get quick ball at all. Picked up by Griffiths. They go back to Webster. This time they go wide. They've got some numbers. It'll chip over the top into space. And penalty coming. Offside was the ruling by the referee. Would have liked to have seen them keep that ball in hand. I, I, I think so. You know, at this time of the half, there's probably about three to four minutes to go. Soak up a bit of defence. No mistakes. Soak the time up. And then have a breather at half time. Yeah. Because it just, it just allows the defence just to, like, soak the West are under no pressure at the moment. Because everyone knows what's going to happen. Whereas when you've just got that, that play on quickly, keep the ball in hand, it just has everyone guessing. Keeps them on their toes. So Webster. Nice kick. Nice kick. It's got a, probably a gain of about 35 to 40 metres. How's my... How's my metrics looking there, Mick? I think it's pretty good. I think, you're, <laughs> I think you're about bang on, actually. <laughs> okay, important line out of here for Sokes. What, what do you think they might do here? Are they going to attack the line? I think they've got to attack the line. They really do. There's, as, as you mentioned, a couple of minutes to go. They play on quickly. Didn't even jump Valentine. Sloppy pass. Well picked up, though. Hardwick. Hard and low. They just need to get that quick recycled ball. Ingram dropping it on the toe into space. Koteka back. So again, they don't they don't need to try and score off in you know, a second or third phase. They've got time and they're in a good position on the ground. They just need to keep the ball in hand, drawing the defenders. They've got good inside and outside options, and just back their back their um their options because they've got plenty of them. I think they've got to back their their skill and they're, they're they've got a very high rate of um, maintaining possession. So so they've got to back themselves yes. a bit more. So all of a sudden from that from that kick, they've they've given the good ball back to West. West can do anything out wide as we've seen today. Caskill. So, Caskill. Taylor. This is what we're talking about here, Mick. They can get some space and some numbers. They need to come back inside. I like this Charrington if he can come up with play. So West against the run of play. That's Marahu across to Weary Charrington. Charrington brushes off one. And he's in the corner. And he scores in the corner. So completely against the run of play from a sloppy line out inside their own 22 metre line. And Wests have gone coast to coast and scored a try right on the shadows of half time to put themselves back in the lead by 10 goals to 6. Super try by Wests. That was a fantastic try. We've been saying it all day, Mick. The, the outside flanks of the West attack, it's scintillating pace, good ball skills and can attack from anywhere. Yeah, really good try. Just... Um, and again, they didn't panic, you know, they just, they just did simple things right. They straightened play. 
and just some nice hands there from Morahu and, and Winnie Charrington's just been electrifying every time he's had that ball and, and a great reward for him to score the try in the corner. I think, yeah, I think um, Channington's definitely been uh, West best player in the first half as far as I'm concerned. I think his ball handling skills has been very good. His reading of the play has been mm. excellent. Um, he understands the, the defensive yeah, efficient, yeah. Uh, inefficiencies of yeah, um, of Soaks. He picks out that, he picks that out so easily. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? You know, he chimed in here for the first try. He chimed in here for yep. the second try. He's been uh, he's been a power of work. So Needless to say, extremely disappointing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Soaks let a try in. Well, yeah, especially Reno. We, when we talk about it all the time, just that either side of half time is such a key moment in rugby games, and there's. Soaks have gone from, from attacking that line to all of a sudden standing behind the post, waiting for a conversion before the half-time break. Lucky that's a shocking kick by Angus Taylor. So 90 seconds, you can hear the players. They all know how much time is left in this half. Ten points to six. Wests now leading Soaks. And Soaks in no hurry to get this game back underway. Why would you want to give it back to West when oh yeah. they can attack like that? Which is the crazy thing, you know, with a with little <laughs> a nothing kick, <laughs> sort of when they had the ball on the attack with a couple of minutes to go, kicking it back, giving it to West, and there's the result. Yeah. So I think it's about to find a Merva is on in jersey number 16. Time on. So Webster just chewing up a bit more time. It's going to be taken there by Mio. The big number six. Bounces Van der Merver off pretty, pretty easily. And they attack through the ruck. Good play by West here. Very attacking. Yeah, I think they really they back themselves, West. They know they well, can they score. They've got the confidence up now. And they know they can score from deep inside their own territory, so they're quite prepared to... Well, there's a two-man overlap out, out here for West already. So West's rolling their way up towards the halfway line. There's a new number 10 on. It's going to be picked up by Morrow, who... Yeah, a key hand in that last try by Charrington. And they come again. This time through Menai. Managed to keep himself in touch. Taylor with it. McCaskill goes himself. The ball offloads. Another good ball. O'Brien. Oh. Now O'Brien again. Wes on the counter. Oh, he's knocked it on. So once again, Wes just fantastic play. Keeping the ball in hand. Getting Soaks on the back foot in their defence and, the, and the gaps just starting to appear. A little bit different in that attacking phase there from uh, their defensive um, 25. They, they went through the forwards, Mick. They made about 15 to 20 metres from nice, good, you know, pop passes there. Spun it back out, hit it up in the middle, sucked in the Soaks defence, had an overlap. Pop, pop, pop. And mm. then the, the forwards there, um, oh, who was it? O'Brien? Yeah, O'Brien. Yeah, it? scampering away. Yeah, he had uh, three hands, yeah, three sets of hands in that play. It was fantastic to see. S. S Crouch! S and it wasn't a knock on here, mate. No, a, uh, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, they must have knocked it down. So West again will be backing himself to try and score in the last minute of this first half. This is Menai. So West. Still attacking in the shadows of half time. Tufalale is it? Out Hitting that up to hook the ball alive. You were trying to Use. pick up at half time who some of these replacements yes. are. There's been a few brought on. This is Mio. A bit high there from Mio. Oh. Must have Good to solid hit on O'Brien. But no problem for O'Brien. Retains the ball, and that's the key. And we're still getting a little bit of a march on here. Yeah, so David, ball comes out. McLennan picks it up. Standing start for him. Still got possession, Use West. Will be 15 out, straight in front. 
Yep, so they're always a chance. If they've got possession, David. I've been recovered from that earlier injury in the opening couple of minutes. Yeah. Hasn't had to do hands too away, much. The men outside away. have been no. fantastic. So Taylor with it. Use. Time counting down. Here they go again through Menai. Charrington off the foot. Bounces back into his own hands. And a penalty. Here on the ground. Oh, that's a big let off for Associates. Just 11's on the ground playing the Yeah, ball. that was a lot of defence. Western Suburb dominating general play in the last 10 minutes. Um, so another. The way they've played has been sensational. You know, they've, they've come back from sort of being down in that first 20 to 25. They've worked really hard. They've backed themselves. They've scored a couple of nice tries. And just in the last five or so minutes, Mick, they've really very been very, very dominant. And so that will signal the end of the first half. It has been a, a cracking one, a great 40 minutes. And I'm sure the back 40 will be just as entertaining. Make sure you stick around. We'll take a very short break and be back with all the action of that second half right after this. <laughs>
mark for the second half of the West's Associates match. Scores 10 points to 6. Mick Collison, Michael Brain in commentary with you. And Brainy, it was a pretty tight first half. Oh, it was a great game, yeah. It's been a really good hard-fought game. Good. Uh, and really a tale of two halves. Uh, West uh, sort of on the back foot in the first half, in the first half of the first half. And then came back and scored a couple of really nice tries. That's a really nice kick-off there for Soaks, picked up by Hardwick. Just on the angle and straightens. So Soaks right on the attack from the start. That's Valentine. He's changed jersey to number three during the half-time break. Ruck time, ruck time. So if you're thinking he, he's a new player, he's not. Hands in the ruck. Ruck time. Just missed it. Bro. Hands in the ruck from West. Ruck four. And a penalty to, to Associates. So Webster with it. Really like them to see uh, on the <coughs> take a safe option in the line out at two here, shot. Soaks. No, they're going to take the shot. shot they're going to have a shot. We need to get them wide up, Brainy. So they mm, can yeah. listen. <laughs> I guess, you know, yeah. Look, it's a tough one. I mean, it's, it's, as we mentioned, it's points. To me, it's, it's more the psychology of what you're doing to the opposition. Yeah. When, you're, when, you, when you make an, an option like that, it's saying to them, we, know we, we don't score. want the points and yeah. we're going to score. And if you've got a team that can back it up, yeah. it's, it, it, you know, it can stay with you for a whole season or yep. two seasons, you know. And, um, yeah, I would, I, would, I would kick for touch here and uh, take a line. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I think, I mean, what, we're only one or two minutes into the half, so it's not, you're not really losing a whole lot of time. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's could it's be a, it could be a bonus seven points. But we'll take the three. Yeah. <laughs> so still, they'll still be behind. But three better than none. But, yeah, I think you've got to back yourself. And as you said, that psychological edge of thinking, yeah, we can do this versus West thinking, OK, we've got them a bit rattled. They can't really back themselves. And it's infectious. Mm. So Webster. All lines, it looks good. It's fading. In fact, it's just hung on. So Soaks now three penalty goals to Harry Webster and Soaks two tries 10-9 the score you know the peanuts that could be you Michael Brain yep <laughs> that could have been me <laughs> but we could be winning too <laughs> <laughs> now well done there nice kick from Webster really it looked like it was going to fade away but it just snuck in on a right hand post didn't it Mick yeah it was a, that's an ugly little restart that's oh. a knock on from oh, yeah. Mio could have worked out well. I think Mio was kind of expecting. Um, I think that was a bit Aussie rules like that, wasn't it? Yeah, not sure who flicked it back, but all a bit unexpected. Marshy stopped being negative, so that's good. So let's try and find out uh, who Marshy is. Yeah, so Michael Marshall, I think he's in 22. Right, playing the so playing the number. Ten, the new number ten, oh, okay. and the new hooker, the number sixteen. Not sure who, Fine. who that is. Hold it. Oh. You can tell Took us who that. Thank you. So Soaks, sloppy pass. Well picked up though by Webster. Restructure, get composed. Now go again. Short ball to Hardwick. Okay. Only knows one way. Hey. A little knock on coming. So again, there's little mistakes that have been affecting Soaks throughout this match. Continue in the second half. Interesting field position here in the in the middle of the field, mm. 40 out for West, and with the uh, very exciting back line that they've got. It'll be interesting to see what they what they want to put together here. Yeah, Kalala Manai and Nikamoru on this commentary side. Fine. With O'Donovan, and then on, and you've got Charrington, who's come up from fullback, and we saw that early on in the game, when he creeps into this back line, and Balls he's got up. the speed to pop in in between any. Yeah, we're going sideways. Exactly, you'd be marking him if you were the uh, open side, okay. for sure. Yeah, we just you're just kind of hovering there behind Menai. You don't know whether he's going to come in in or outside, and what phase he might do. Yeah. So it's uh, it's great. It's an exciting back line. Yep. West need to have a good, strong platform to we set these blokes alight, which they have had today. Their, their scrummaging has been excellent. And Chandler's got the speed. If they do decide to go to the other side, he's quick enough to 
hook around and, and come Go. back in on side of Marshall. So it's a really, the uh, Soaks backs will be thinking, what the hell's going to happen? They come to the commentary side. He just holds, well, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there, man I, but it didn't didn't come off. So picked up by Soaks, that's Siffa. Taylor Menzies. Another good run from him. He's been stripped of the ball. Wasn't over. There was a small knock on, I think. Nearly, was it? <laughs> nearly called it, Jen. Sorry. Yeah. Was a knock first. Yeah. It was a knock on, Mick. Yeah. Yeah, this. From Wes. No, Opening part of this game, just struggling to get any sort of rhythm. Not as clean as the start of the no. game, that's for sure. Crouch! Bind! Set! Ready? Balls at the back, hold. Hold, nine. Use that. Nine. So it's picked up. Webster turning it back inside to Ingram. Up from fullback. Good to see the number 15 getting involved, Valentine. Runs into a purple wall now. in the middle of Bennett Park here. They go back again to Webster. Hold nine. Sends it downfield. Charrington with it. Decent kick, turn the full back round there. Bit of an ugly, a, ugly kick, but... It's a 20, 25, 30 metre gain there from Webster. Take the mark with the AR guys. So Soaks with the line out. It's a real tussle here, isn't it, Mick? The, you know, the, the the heat is still on. I yeah. mean, it must be still 20, 26, 27 degrees. Yep. Um, there hasn't been much clean play in this no, first five hard, minutes. Very scrappy. Hardwick now puts the head down. Soaks need quick recycle ball. Here goes Valentine again. The short side, Killiner. Off ball now! Hands away! Slow play here at the ruck, not good for Sakes. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Beecham. Looks like another. Looks like uh, Lockie Vals. And wouldn't this be a, a, a huge loss for Sakes? Yeah, very uh, much so. He's certainly been one of their best, if not their best, this afternoon. Okay. Blood. Blood, guys. Blood. Trying to find some blood. Trying to find some blood somewhere. There's 15 minutes. Are you bringing a sub on as well? Oh, is this the blood? Yeah, Val's got a bit of blood here. I think maybe blood. from the nose. Okay. What do we get? Big Affa. Affa Manukia. No. Had a sensational finals. There's a little bit series. of um, stuff happening just in front of us here, Brainy, too, between a couple of the West players approaching. I'm sure, it's just a very charitable conversation between a couple of large rugby players. <laughs> They'll be fine. Yeah, the ball's at the back, the last one, so I was happy to play away. In it. That's fine. <coughs> I think the ref's done a great job today. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Mick? Yeah, I think he's been good. I think he's he's wanted the ball to try and um, the the play to flow on, but it's just it's frustrating everyone because of the amount of stoppages that's happening this afternoon. But it's certainly not the ref's not the one that's dropping the ball. Absolutely not. I think he's been sensational. Fine. Let the game flow. Set. Two good teams fight it out amongst each other. Right, right, right. I'm not sure what's going on here with this bloke having a chat to Val. Just right in front of us. Subs? Subs. 
more numbers off, Jack? A few more subs. Well, that solves the problem of who the number 16 was because we've got Fleti Kotu coming back on. Right. And I think we've got and Dom Hardman with the tape around his head. So 17 and Fleti Kotu back in the number two. Decent size lad, wasn't he? Yeah. Set. I think the frantic pace of the first 20 minutes has taken its toll on these players. The skill level has dropped somewhat. It certainly has. It's been a bit uh, patchworky. Certainly in this second half, there's been a lot of errors. Yeah, both put handbrakes on their skills. That's where I think you maybe you know, if you're thinking about how you're going to play it out, you you tighten it up. Mm. You know, get a bit more structure going, and then you know once you get your rhythm back. Yeah, then, yeah. then maybe try and so be a bit more right expansive. Use. So West, here they go. So Cody Co-Baker it was. Had a good game in reserve grade. Offside there from the number 11. Great play by Michael Hardwick there to drive through the middle of the West Ruck. Putting the ball on side for Associates. And winning the penalty. Your guys... High most feet have gone back. He's, he's spot on this referee. He's fine. Yeah, he's good. West, West loose head in the next scrum. You might just have to repeat that. New night, he's a bit soft. So, Soaks. Now back. <laughs> On the attack, just outside the 22-metre line, right in West's territory. They haven't scored a try yet this afternoon, Soaks. Trailing by solitary point, 10-9. Two tries to West's through Darren O'Donovan and Winnie Charrington. But, and three penalty goals to Harry Webster. But Five. at this stage, Soaks unable to score the try. Nice line-out win there by Taylor Menzies. This is what we're talking about, Mick. Keep it in tight. See what you can do up front. Good drive there by Sykes. Looks like it's gone down there a bit. Oh, terrible. So disappointing there for Associates, but great, great defence there by West. Looked like Sykes was just starting to get a bit of a roll, but was taken to ground. Yep. West did very, very well to subdue that um, the rolling mall there. Take it to ground, and uh, Sykes couldn't get it out. West scrum feed. Yep. So Lockyer Valentine retaking the field. <coughs> yep, yep, that's fine. So it's a new sub now. It's a new sub. The one goal's been subbed there, Jack. Yeah, Affa came on there for um, the blood replacement, and then they've taken Nick Beecham off from the scrum and put it at, put uh, Affa in at uh, loose it, I think. Crouch! Quite well, sunny and difficult conditions for the commentators down here. Yeah. The sun <laughs> and the heat. Yep, the sunburn. No excuses. Heat stroke. <laughs> Tough conditions. Tough. <laughs> you got that half covered. <laughs> Bit of interaction with the spectators there. Fine! <laughs> Set! So another good scrum for Wests. A nice run. Get themselves out of danger. Kalani Menai, really strong runner with the ball. Now McCaskill, likewise. Tries to offload. He had Mio with him but couldn't get rid of it. Now they go open. That's where they've got some speed just lurking out there. That's not exactly one of them, but McLennan. He's made 20. So great skills by the big Wests. The number one. Now West realigning their dangerous 
once they start stringing some phases together. Jack Taylor there, caught centre field. Pick and go there. He's, he's broken through the middle. That's Matt O'Brien. We saw him run earlier. He's got some speed for a big second rower. Still going, O'Brien. 20 metres out. They come out to Kydry side. Long pass. That's Menai. Now to Cherrington. And just into touch. Fantastic Little. play from West there. Yep. Well, I'm, I mean, they're quite amazing. They're, the way they can string faces together, but the amount of space they make once they actually hang onto the ball for a few phases. It's uh, That started from just outside their own 22, and then all of a sudden they're right camped outside Sykes' line. So just they just play good structures, and, and when there's when the opportunity's on, they, they take it. Absolutely. They um, had three very good hit-ups in the middle of the field, sucking in the Sykes' defence, <laughs> making them try and make the defence try and realign, and then, you know, those exciting backs, when they get their hands on the ball, they've got really good stepping skills. Yeah. Um, and uh, the number four... What a game he's having, O'Brien. Yeah, Matt O'Brien. Um, yeah, good, 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 good running skills, but fantastic hand skills for a second yeah. row as well. So well done to West there. Yeah, and it's a, a huge game. It's a really, I just think West has got a really well, well balanced side because they've got some, some big backs. You've got guys like Kalani Menai, who's fast, but he, he's not afraid to get in and take some of the heavy work off. Then you've got the just the pure speed of Winnie Charrington and, and Darren O'Donovan. So it's there. a real mix of, of strength and, and speed in that back line. It's, uh, it's a great side. Well, they're, yeah, they're both two, two sort of um, uh, player sets that, that's exciting. You know, as you said, nice and stocky and big in the centre. They can hit it up hard. They can clean out hard. They can defend hard. And then you've got the really quick, lightning-fast backs in... Um, in Chennington and um, and Menai, it's pretty exciting. So Soaks inside the round 22, looking to get out of trouble through Webster. It's not going to go out. It's been picked up by O'Donovan. We know he's got some speed, as does this man, Winnie Charrington. There he goes, links up straight away with Cody Kobaker. They come again through Mio. Taylor with it. They go the short side through Marshall, then back onto O'Donovan. I'm going to need a longer peek on my cap soon so he can actually see what's going on on the other side. I think that was O'Brien again hitting it up. Straight into the sun, Mio. Oh, good solid hit. Short ball, straight running. Great attacking running by West here. Marshall. To Donovan. West just hanging on to possession. Taylor goes himself. Angus Taylor, only a metre away from the line. Off in now, no, no, leave it for. They must be close. Are they over? No, just push back. So they're about a half a metre away. West right on the attack. Soaks desperately defending, trying to protect their line. Trailing by one. The shout coming from West. The referee will have a look. It's held up, I think, there, Mick. No? Time. Time. Okay. Referee's called time here. He's going to have a discuss it with his touch judge. Clear granting. And the try awarded. So once again, West just by a sheer weight of possession. Well, that was sensational play, Mick. I think they've had about 15 phases there, um, and and all stemming from when they were defending in their 22. And that's uh, you know that shows a great set of uh, skill set and uh, really good discipline from uh, a great, you know, as you said, a really nice even spread of um, skills throughout the team. They've got a good structure and they obviously back themselves and they're all there for each other and um, yeah, you know, they come away with the chockies there. And really good composure. You know, they, they don't panic, which I really like about West. They've, it's like they've got a, you know, a whole week to, to play this game. They just, they just take their time and they, their option choosing is, is very, very good and they've got their third try of the afternoon. I think the halfbacks um, you know, controlled the pack very well, actually. He's made good decisions when to sort of spin it and when to keep it in tight. And so even just then, had he, you know, had a little go himself, so yes. he keeps, keeps the defence guessing. Yeah, absolutely.
So the kicker hasn't had a whole lot of joy this afternoon. And this time he adds the extras. So West now out to 17 points to nine. Still plenty of time for Soaks, trailing by eight. But I think their option now of taking the points, I think they might need to score some tries. It's not panic stations at all. There's plenty of time you know, left in this game. Um, you have to remain composed in these situations. Uh, Dean Taylor Menzies is a fantastic captain, and I'm sure that they'll um, you know, realign and have a, have a decent crack for sure. So Mio takes that looking into the setting sun without any dramas. McCaskill. Lovely short ball into space, but now back with Soaks. Huey Norcross there, getting monstered by a couple of large, tight five players from Western Suburbs. Dragging well back done. towards halfway. Well Ball's out. Ball's Foot buddy. comes through. Needs to stay off it, though. Good decision by the ref there. Ball's out. Taylor Menzies has scooped it for Soaks. Valentine steps inside. K2. A flick pass out the, out the side to uh, the Merva. Merva. No one there He's though. No one there. More cross. Oh, oh, so, yeah, West. I, I, I really don't agree with that decision. I said no. <laughs> West penalised for coming in uh, offside on the ruck, but uh, I think the ball was free. It was certainly behind the um, the last Soaks player's feet. A bit tough there. And it's so to be very thankful. Don't worry about that. If you're not. Um, if you're not agreeing with a penalty to Soaks, Michael Brain, there's obviously there was an error in that decision. Was Professional commentator, Mick. <laughs> not not biased <laughs> whatsoever. You've got to look at the game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to say they had the same uh, option here on the opposite side of the ground. Soaks about, how was it, about 10 minutes ago? Yep. Uh, I'd really like to see him have another crack at keeping it in tight and um, mauling this up. So another poor line out. They've had trouble all day throwing away attacking opportunities like that. That's what you can't do when you're trailing by eight points. Thunderbird yep. back with it, as is Ingram. And Ingram it is the one that takes it. Decides to go himself. He needs to not run away from his defence. Lucky Taylor Menzies is there with him. West not committing any defenders to it. Valentine. Hillinger takes it up, pops to Griffiths. Oh, Griffiths. Takes play up to halfway. So Soaks stringing a couple of phases together. Pick and drive. And just lazy running there by Nick McLennan and some no. smart work by the halfback to throw it straight into him. Leaves the referee with no option but to penalise. I've heard the line out. Yeah, good, good recovery there from Sates to um, sort of negate that attacking bit of play from Wes. Um, Taylor Menzi getting back to help. Pal uh, who was it? It wasn't Power for a minute. Ingram, was, I uh, Ingram it was. Um, Secured a penalty, luckily enough for them. Five. And you can just see the the five difference hands, in hands. in the danger of Sykes when they actually hang on to the ball. When they keep it in tight, I think that you know when they, once they get rhythm and they and they get their hit up sequences correct, yeah, I think that's the danger for Wes. Another opportunity here for Sykes with this line out. I go to the back once again. It's gone too far. Picked up by Hardwick off the back. And it's been turned over. So now West's back on the counter-attack. And a forward pass there. Wasn't too much in it. It was Dom Hardman, the man throwing the ball. But yeah, ball security lacking. Very. West very frantic in defence, putting a lot of pressure on, closing the space. I think you'll notice they're actually closed. They're coming up a lot flatter in, the, in, in this second half. And Sykes aren't handling that pressure just at the moment. So a scrum feed Fine. for West, just, just outside the 22 yeah. metre line. 
Use it now. Ball comes out to come the short side through Charrington. He's got some speed and he's got a gap. Charrington turns it back inside to O'Donovan. Out of Mio. Mio. So again, just dangerous. That West's back line. Now they go. Great hand. The open yeah. side this time through Menai. Still, West's on the attack. Numbers and try, try time. time. And that's another fantastic team try by West. Fantastic ball handling skills in tight and long range passing from West there and really exposed the Soaks defence. And just both sides of the field, we saw it come from one side right across to the other. Yep. And then just ambling over to score near the post. So just a, a tremendous team try. And again, Brady, you talk about just playing what's in front of you. That's what this team does just so well. You can't plan you can't plan that sort of try. That was just seeing what was there, having good support, taking good options, and the points coming in the end. Yeah, I think we had an under-the-legs pass, yeah. a, um, and then a flick pass around the back, and then out wide with uh, two long passes. And the winger came... Was it the winger who scored that I'm try? Not, yeah, I'm not sure. I just saw a silhouette yes. scoring over there in the corner. It was a fantastic try to watch. And again, just with that balance, that side, they've just got danger people just pop up everywhere. And just fantastic. Have a guy, you know, like this Winnie Charrington on this on this side. You know, when he gets it, that he's Jeez, he's going to make some room. Didn't he have wheels down here? Yeah, just fan, just puts you in attacking in attacking positions out of out of what would normally be defensive. And what it does is it makes a defence commit to them, and it, it creates gaps Daps, for other players yeah, to run into. As we saw, exactly what happened. And there's nothing any team can do about that. If you're not no. aligned properly in defence, and you've got someone with pace that like that, he can really expose you. And he's done it three times yeah. today. <coughs> so another miss. What's that, 22-9, is it? 22-9 by me, yes. These are the best wins when you come back from 22 down, <laughs> at, uh, down here at West. With five minutes to go. <laughs> well, we've got 15 or 20 to go. At least, haven't we, Mick? We've got plenty of time. Uh, he's tried to overcook that. He's got a lot of height on it. <laughs> Trying to put that a little bit too high up into the sun. I guess you've got to try some things, but... That was a terrible kick, Mick. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> yep. So 12 minutes remaining in the match. Scrum right on halfway. Referee almost blowing it up. Plays it on. Great advantage for West there. Marshall. Come again through McCaskill. He's been terrific for West. He's been very solid. Short side. They've spotted some gaps out there. And it turns it. Oh, Taylor almost back inside. Just starting to find gaps everywhere, this West team against the tiring Soaks defence. It's the amount of metres they make on their attacking um, uh, plays as well, Mick. But, you know, they're not making five metres, they're making yeah. 25. So slow to come out. They just pick and drive. Just again, taking their time. They'll slow it down here. They're pretty control. happy with their position on the field. McLennan, the big man, and he's over. So it wasn't as pretty as the previous try, but it's worth the same amount of points. And Jack McLennan notches up his first one for this afternoon. And the score blowing out now to 27 points to nine. I'm speechless, Mick. <laughs> no, that was very soft defence from Soaks in tight. Um, it certainly went straight up the guts here with three yeah. really, really good um, pick and drives from Wes. With uh, McClellan, you know, going over in the end. Yeah, so really a, a, it's been a dominant performance by West this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Ever since the first you know, 20, they've, they've dominated the game. 
And as you say, they've, they've got a really nice spread of um, competency mm. amongst um, you know their, their you know their, their thicker set um, inside backs, their lightning quick outside backs. Yeah. Uh, the forward pack, they just seem to work so well together and they seem to be up for anything. So, you know, if something changes in, in front of them, they're able to play, you yep. know, what's in front of them. And that's, that's, that's well, whoever the coach is for, uh, for West must be extremely yeah. excited by this performance. And this time the extras are added. So the score now moving out to 29 points to nine. West's leading yep. the final 10 minutes of this game. Angus Taylor it was. Was it? Scoring the points. Good. Not sure who scored the yeah, with the with the conversion. We don't have the replay screens here, Mick, to uh, to pick up all the plays that uh, score those no. score those awesome tries. So Mio takes it cleanly once again. I think this guy's been pretty solid today too, Mio. He's um, yeah. he's done his job. So Sykes just trying to keep West camped inside that 22 with some defence. Outside, take him back. Take him back. So they can't go out on the full because it's been taken back. Great kick. That is a tremendous kick. Beats everyone. And in touch, so it would be a Sykes line out. In fact, he's saying it was touched. Touched. Touched by Soaks. Oh, McCaskill plays on. Ball comes loose. Picked up by West. Counter ruck. But still with West. He may have rolled one time too many, but no, it comes back. McCaskill just spins out of two out of three. Good yard. Thank you. Thank you. Mio again. Marshall. Kalani Menai. Can we talk about these players that can just come in? Awesome quick play there from Wes. They really put the pressure on the Soaks defence. Lots of pick and drives. Lots of uh, nice tight, close balls. And you bring in a strong, a man who can run very quickly with, with sort of bulk. It's, uh, it's just a nice mix up. Not putting him down. Taylor finds touch. Nice kick. So West's with another opportunity. Numbers, Nick. As time Numbers. ticks away. Looks like another change. Looks like yeah, Serge Sapsford. Sapsford. Oh, McCaskill to the front. An intercept. It was a nice, smart play. Norcross just tackled. So the line had almost <coughs> working there for West with that little short move down the sideline. Nice interchange between the hooker and McCaskill. The counter's fine. So we'll play this one. Great counter rucking there from Western Suburbs. Counter's fine. So it's had a clean, clean grab at it and. They didn't stop. They just kept going, putting players in there. It was, uh, that's what you want from your forward pack. <laughs> Crouch! Bind! Set! So, Norcross at halfback to Webster. Picking it up off his toes. Nice long pass out to Ingram. And here goes Soaks. Oh, had to put on the deck, unfortunately. They didn't have the support that West have enjoyed this afternoon. Picked up by Winnie Charrington. Charrington's come out with that. Still going with it somehow. And a penalty coming in favour of Soaks. They go quickly and they score it. Yeah, they got the penalty about a metre away from the line. They just play on quickly. And we're not sure who actually got it. It looks like it may have been Taylor Menzies, possibly. Go, 
Yeah, your goal is isolated. Yep, Taylor Menzies. So, a nice reward for the number eight. He's, uh, he's had a terrific match this afternoon. Great work rate. Uh, about eight yeah, so, about eight minutes remaining in the match. And Soak's now out to 14. So, 29-14 is the score. You talked about a comeback, Brainy. This could be the start of it. Well, there's plenty of time for three converted tries, Mick. <laughs> So Webster looking to add some much needed extras. Interesting in that try, Mick, um, <clears throat> Soaks decided to spin it wide. Had a couple of hit ups in close, sucked their defensive yep. line in, put them out of um, alignment in defence, and they had an overlap had on the spun, wing. Yeah, there. yeah. And uh, good pace too. From it was. Was it Van, Van der Merwe? I'm not sure if it, I don't <laughs> know if it was Ingram or um, I'm not sure who started on that other side. It might have been. Draver or, or Siffa involved. He's kicked that. He's kicked it. So 29-16. So two converted tries. Can they do it? As I said, Mick, you know, with you know seven or eight minutes to go, there's still a, there's still a lot of footy to be played in this game, and you, you know, both these sides are never say die. And you got to love watching rugby like this because they both have a fair crack, and it's. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, that's, next and ten minutes. That's the thing. I think I think Soaks will think think they're a chance to score two. Taylor Menzies, been very solid. Taylor Menzies, Valentine. Here he goes. He'll do it himself. Big fan from the big second rower. Great run by Valentine. He's had a storming game this afternoon. Beecham, Hands away. bouncing off. Webster, or oh, solid hit midfield there. Oh, he doesn't hang up to him properly. Killinger taking it up here. Just need to recycle it. So West with the man down with cramps. So there is some space on that open side if they can get it out. And locked up. Now they go. They've got numbers. It's been passed behind him. He's forced to go back, which he does. Can't get his arms free. Ball comes oh, free. Knock on. And Webster just puts it into touch. Man down behind play. Hopefully the ref will play on because he's not involved. In. It's just a cramp. Six minutes, Six minutes remaining. Here the referee. Yep. Wonder here, Matt, whether um, I hear you, scrum. you know West <laughs> really exciting, open and scintillating. A lot of running it players tired play them out, now. and this five minutes could be very, could be very, long, yeah. very crucial. Yeah, well, it is Time crucial, on. but can Soaks get a bit of dominance over them and come home with the goods? So McCaskill is the man down with cramp, so he's being replaced. Is he being subbed? Had a very good game. Yeah, he's been fantastic. He's been extremely solid for um, for West. Always there for a hit up. Good low driving clean outs as well from McCaskill today. AR. Got the, AR. <laughs> the referee's just asking West if they want to actually play with 15 aside or if they're happy to <laughs> just stay with 14. He's a good sport. No more subs. They've got no more subs. They'll stay with 14. That's oh, Marla, wasn't it? I thought it was um, we'll play on. McCaskill. Play on, guys. Come on. He's up, oh, it's Marlow, it is too. It's Marlow. <coughs> he played a game of second grade <laughs> and now he's in first grade and he's got a few problems. <laughs> it's been a long afternoon in the heat. Still stand by McCaskill having a good game. <laughs> a good game there, mate. <laughs> yes. Crouch! Fine! Do it! A good platform by Wests. Marshall turns it back inside to Co Baker. Well, feed, leave it. Good. Ball's out. Sapsford. Hardman. Oh, loose pass, trying to just get it out to O'Donovan. 
Goes to ground. West forwards arrive on mass. Mio. Solid up that short side. Hardman again. Yeah, Charrington. Stop midfield. Grabbed there by Taylor Menzies. You could probably call that a try saver. Open up. <laughs> With his pace, why not? Open up. Yeah, good control there from Wes. Taylor. Almost through. Ball comes not, loose. He's knocked that on. Yep. Is this the crucial turnover? Three minutes. Interesting position in the middle of the field. Yeah, three and a half minutes remaining. Middle centre field scrum for Soaks. <laughs> they need to score from this set. Yeah, they need to score in the next, you know, minute and a half. Yeah. Bit, um, and that can that can be as many as sort of 10 to 12 or 15 phases. Um, but you're right. They, you know, to put the scoreboard pressure back on West and yeah. to, to give them an even chance of um, scoring another yeah. one, they yeah. certainly need a, at least at least a couple of minutes. I would have thought. Yeah. After scoring scoring one, if if they can. So Norcross at halfback. Crouch! Fine! Yep. Here you go, Tom. Go! Here you go, Tom. Give it to Tom. Go, Tom. Go, Tom. Go, Tom. Go, Tom. Ball finally comes out. Norcross with it. Offloads to Ingram up from fullback. Chips over the top. Still going. Charrington cleans that up beautifully. And here he, and here goes. he goes. He's quick. Gets them out of play, out of danger, outside the 22. They go the short side through Mio. Again, just working that fringes. Wait, no hands! No hands! <laughs> Penalty coming, this time cleaner. in favour of West. West. You're okay, but he's in front of the and ball I think that the might be it. We're preventing the clean-up, mate. Still plenty of time here, Mick. Uh, <laughs> Still two minutes. So. Have you ever seen two tries scored in uh, <laughs> two minutes, Mick, before in your life? Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. Once. Was that a fifth grade game <laughs> of some sort, was it? Yeah, <laughs> a fifth grade game of seven. <laughs> uh, West have really ground this out and, you know, certainly... Um, Put a bit of scare, I would have thought, amongst the, the rest of the competition. Um, they'll only get better. It's yeah. what the fourth game. Yeah, of the round year. four. Yeah, and you don't know who's missing and who's you know who's to come back. But um, what you can tell is that they they have a good structure. They all work very well as a team. And here they go again through Mio. Way, way. Up to halfway. West, they can sniff it here. They can sniff another try. Be a nice way for them the to wrap it up. McCaskill. Mio driven back. Ball still in the hands of West. Just taking their time, just a pick and drive, but still <laughs> making yards each time. Now they go open. Great control rugby from West here. Pick and drive in the forwards. Yeah, just sucking your defenders. This is 12 or 13 phases already. Use. Still keep it in close. Still going forward. Oh, Ooh, a just little a little knock, knock on. on. And the referee will look at his watch. He's going to set one more on. scrum. Yeah. On the last <coughs> one? Yeah, ball's up, so just go away. Uh, on the upside the tunnel. I didn't see it left side. I'll, co I'll come that side. It'll be last play, guys. Last play. What's the favourite kicking out, eh? Okay. So the last play of the match. 
29-16. Here's the score. West having a good win, 34-5 to in, uh, in second grade. And Sykes getting up in Colts, but it is Sykes with the last throw of the dice here at Bennett Park. Ingram, Thunder Merva, down the short side, and they bundle him into touch. And that'll be it, Nick. Kalani Menai coming across to give Nika Morohu a hand and a stick. Thunder Merva into touch. So Sykes trying to have a crack on that last phase, but uh, all coming undone. But Brady, yeah, dominant performance in the end by West. Yeah, absolutely. Um, certainly our muscled him up front, I think. Um, and... Um, you know, just the, the willingness to, to be able to spin that ball and, and play some really great old school running rugby was great. And just to have the confidence to do it, um, you're sort of halfway there. Um, obviously the skills are required, but they just all backed each other all day. And, uh, you know, Channington, sensational. Um, the uh, in, in the forward pack, I like McCaskill and I liked O'Brien. I think O'Brien was um, pretty instrumental in, in, in that sort of second 20 minutes of the, of the first half. Where he made a lot of runs and you know, you know dropped hands off to, to, to players coming through yep. each time, as I said earlier on in the in, in the telecast, that you know every time West made a break, they were making 15, 20 metres. They weren't making fives and you know sevens, yep. and that was that, that's really hard to defend against. Um, but you know, look, a valiant effort from Sokes as well. You know, it was a great game to watch. It was uh, heartily contested. Um, and there's certainly something there that they can build on for the rest of the season. I would have thought. And who'd you like from Sokes? No one. <laughs> no. You're, you're no. a harsh judge. No, no. I, I, I think um, I, I think uh, Valentine and um, um, Taylor Menzies uh, in the, from the forward pack. I thought Hugh Norcross actually had a, quite a solid game going from I think it was wing to fullback to halfback half at, yep. at, at one stage. Um, and, I, and I like some of the runs that um, in, Ingram um, had from fullback. Maybe he could have chomped into the line a little bit more, but you know, you've know you got to have the ball in possession to be able to give you those opportunities. But, yeah, look, all around, I, you know, they'll be disappointed. Um, but you've just got to suck it up, don't you, and uh, sort of train hard on Tuesday and uh, the team run on Thursday and then um, get back out next weekend and have a crack. So full time here at Bennett Park and it was the home side Wests. Too strong for Soaks in the end, winning by 29 points to 16. I'm Mick Collisbath, myself, Michael Brain and all the crew. It is good afternoon from Bennett Park. <laughs>